Hey, second grade, and welcome to our 20th lesson today. So we have been talking all about our problem solving steps these past few lessons. Do you guys think you can name all those steps without me showing the poster? I hope so, but just in case, I'm gonna show you that poster so we can review it because we're gonna be talking more about it today too. So we know the problem solving steps spell step, S is say the problem without blame. T is think of those solutions to solve that problem that are safe and respectful. E is explore those consequences. If we choose this, what can happen? And P, pick that best solution and make the plan. So we're gonna be using this again today and we are gonna be helping out a guy named Malik. So our lesson today involves responding to playground exclusion. When I say exclusion or to exclude something or someone, do you know what that means? So to exclude or exclusion, it means not letting somebody join in. Include means you bring somebody in to play with you. Exclude means you don't let them come and play with you. So we're gonna talk about um, responding to playground exclusion. So people not letting other people play with them at recess. Sometimes people don't want kids to play with them because that kid might be mean, they might cheat in the game, they might bring drama or make the whole recess stressful. That's one thing. But if we're excluding, so leaving somebody out on purpose just to be mean, that is another. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Here is our picture, here's our story. So this is Malik right here, and we're gonna be helping him out. This kid right here in the yellow, he's kind of blurred out, it, the focus is on these guys. So this kid right here is Brandon, and he's the one being excluded. So we're gonna be helping Malik, and these are Malik's friends. So everybody's at recess, it's a gorgeous day, and Malik and his two friends over here are playing a game called Foursquare. I don't know if you guys have heard of Foursquare, it's literally a square and four different squares in it. There's a Jack, Queen, King, Ace. And basically you're trying to become, the, you're trying to be the Ace position and you bounce the ball. And if it bounces twice in your square, you're out. So these guys are all playing four square, having a good old time. And Brandon comes over and Brandon's pretty um, outgoing and assertive. And he's like, hey, you guys, it looks like you need another player. Can I play with you? Well, Brandon hears, or I'm sorry, Malik hears Brandon ask to join. And just as he's about to say, sure, his two friends are like, no, um, we already have enough players. Thank you, though. Malik knows that's not true. There's just three of them playing four square. How many players do you think you need in four square? Four, you need four players. And Malik looks at his friends and they're like, what are you talking about? We do need another player. So his friends are just excluding Brandon on purpose. Brandon's a cool kid. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't bring any drama. So Malik right here, he doesn't know why his friends don't want him to play. So Malik focuses his attention in on Brandon's facial express, expression and body language. So think about that. Look at Brandon right here, facial expression, body language, and the situation. How do we think Brandon's feeling? Brandon's feeling pretty upset that these guys don't want to play with him. He's feeling upset. He's feeling left out. We can tell because situation, they said he can't play with us. We can also see though, his arms are crossed and his head is down. He's feeling kind of bad. And Malik can see that too. Malik knows that Brandon's feeling upset about this. How do we think Malik feels about this? We know his friends lied and said that they had enough players when they clearly don't. And Brandon can see that they don't have enough players. Malik feels a little annoyed with his friends for lying, a little angry and confused, but he also feels sad and concerned for Brandon. Malik has empathy for Brandon. And empathy, if you remember, understanding someone's point of view, walking in their shoes. Malik has empathy for Brandon and he understands Brandon is upset about being left out. Malik knows what it feels like to be left out and it's not a good feeling. Malik doesn't think it's right either for his friends to exclude Brandon and lie about it too for no reason. He wants Brandon to be included, but he's not sure how to make that happen. So do you guys think we have a problem here? Yeah, we definitely have a problem. What's the problem? So we look at our problem solving poster asks, what's that problem going on? 
we know Malik wants Brandon to feel included, but his friends don't want to play with Brandon. Okay, so that's our problem. Malik wants Brandon to feel included. So we move on to T, think of solutions. What can Brandon do now? What are some possible solutions for this? And there's a lot of different solutions out there. What do you guys think? Maybe he can assertively tell his friends, hey, we need another player that's not cool to exclude him for no reason. Let's let Brandon play. That'd be one reason or a solution. Maybe another is he ditches his friends. And he's like, whatever, you're not going to play with Brandon. I'm out. I'm going to go play with him another game. Could be another one. Or maybe he just ignores it and he's just like, that's unfortunate. I don't know why they don't want to play with Brandon, but I really want to play Foursquare, so I'm going to keep playing. What are some other solutions that you guys came up with? Did any of you come up with those? All right, so we asked, said the problem. T thought of solutions. Next step is to E, explore those consequences. If we choose this, what could happen? Okay, so Malik totally just kind of ignores it, ignores Brandon. He sees he feels bad, but he's gonna just continue playing Foursquare anyway. What could happen? Well, we know Brandon is still gonna feel upset. He was excluded. He's left out of this game. He's still gonna feel pretty sad. And Malik is probably gonna feel bad because he was bothered that his friends lied to Brandon. What if Malik ditches his friends and goes and plays with Brandon? What could happen? His friends might feel kind of upset, like, you don't want to play with us? Like, what happened? But Brandon might feel kind of happy to feel included in that somebody wants to play with them. What if Malik tells his friends, hey, that's not cool that you lied about it. I want Brandon to play with us. What could happen then? His friends still might say, well, we don't want to play with him. Or they might see his side and say, yeah, you're right. Let's have Brandon play. And if they do let Brandon play, Brandon's probably gonna feel pretty happy. What do you guys think Malik is going to choose? What do you think is the best solution? All right, so Malik does some self-talk in his brain and he runs through the problem and different solutions and those consequences if he chooses um, that solution. And he picks the best one in his opinion. And Malik doesn't think it's right to exclude anyone on purpose for absolutely no reason. So he assertively, so remember, call them boys, eye contact, can you talk? He assertively tells his friends that it's not okay to pretend that there are enough players when there aren't and to leave Brandon out for no reason. He says he knows that Brandon is upset by this and he really wants Brandon to play with them. And he asks his friends to invite Brandon to play. And do you guys think he made a good decision? I do too. So Malik chose a compassionate, respectful solution for this problem. He has empathy for Brandon walking in his shoes. He knows that Brandon felt left out. He knows it's a terrible thing to feel left out. And he's acting on that. Malik's friends agree. They said, you're right. That was, you know, that was okay. Let's invite Brandon to play. And Brandon comes over, he plays Foursquare and the four of them have a really great time at recess. And they have enough players to play the game. So I think Malik did an excellent job. He did a good job standing up for what he thought was right and for standing up for Brandon. And he had some empathy. He understood how Brandon felt and that helped him make his decision. So we are gonna be doing a skill practice now about inviting somebody to join. So inviting somebody to join, maybe you've been there, maybe you haven't, but a lot of us have been that person that felt left out. Maybe we didn't know everybody. Maybe we felt shy to ask if we can join. And we know when someone invites us to play, um, to be included, it feels good. It makes us happy and it's nice to be included. And some people are just a little shy. So if you see somebody kind of standing on the edge, they look a little sad, you can tell they want to join, invite them. You might have a really good time and make a friend out of it. So I'm going to give you guys a scenario and you are going to have to invite that person to join. Or what can you do so that person feels included? And then I'll give you my answer. So this one can be a little bit of a toughie. So you're at lunch and you're sitting at the lunch table with your friends and you can see that there's a kid in class um, who needs a spot. And you see that there's enough room at the table you're at, but nobody's moving to make room for this kid at all. And this kid is nice. This kid is really nice. 
He is mean. He doesn't cause any stress. So you're wondering why nobody is making a move for him. What can you do? I think what I would do in that situation is be assertive. So eye contact, sitting up tall, I call him from voice, and I would either move over myself if I could and say, hey, there's room for you right here, point next to me. Or I'd look at my friends at the table and say, hey, can we switch in to make room for so-and-so to sit with us? Is that what you guys would do too? All right, you guys. So again, being excluded is not letting somebody join it. Sometimes at recess, of course, there's kids you might not want to play with because they're mean, because they cheat in the game, because they bring some drama, because they just make all of recess stressful. That's one thing. But to exclude somebody on purpose and just to be mean for no reason, that's another. And when we exclude people, like, and for that, it's going to make people feel bad and sad and left out. And it's not respectful. So we can solve that problem by being assertive and inviting somebody to join in and play with us. All right, ladies and gents, before we take off for the day, of course, we got your song to listen to. Let me scroll this down and your problem solving song, Step Up. So enjoy it, dance to it, and I will see you guys next time.